Is it time to buy or sell Google stock? In this video, we'll be diving deep into Google. We initially published a report on our website on Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's crucial not to miss any updates that could potentially impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI today and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of December 18, 2023, our system has ranked Google as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of 0.53. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown natural fluctuations, resulting in a gain of 0.43%. This implies an average daily return of 0.04% since it was categorized as hold slash accumulate. The stock is currently following a steady upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential for further growth. Based on the last three months, there is a projected 2.38% change in the stock value over the next three months. However, there is a range of possible returns, between minus 6.45% and 6.47%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the stock is expected to experience significant growth, with a projected 53.17% change. This could result in a return between 47.73% and 64.77%. In terms of price, it could reach anywhere from $201.49 to $224.73 after a year. Our latest update for Google brings you the headline, Evaluation of Google Stock Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, January 4, 2024, the Google stock price experienced a decline of 1.82%, moving from $138.92 to $136.39. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 2.06%, with a low of $136.36 .36 and a high of $139.16. Over the past two weeks, there has been a loss of 0.19%. Although the volume of shares traded increased by 2 million on the last day, it happened amidst falling prices. This could be seen as an early warning sign, with a slight increase in risk expected over the next few days. In total, approximately 26 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $3.50 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for Google stock was $142.68, while the lowest price was $84.86. Currently, the stock price is 4.41% below its 52-week high, which is a difference of $6.29. It is also 94.43% below its all-time high, which occurred on June 14, 2021. On that date, the stock price reached $2,448.92. Today, we're going to talk about analyst ratings for Google's parent company, Alphabet Incorporated. Let's start with the latest report from Wednesday, December 27, 2023. Wedbush gave Google an outperform grade with a hold action. Moving on to the report from Thursday, November 2, 2023. Oppenheimer gave Google a perform grade with a hold action. Now, let's discuss the report from Wednesday, October 25, 2023. According to Morgan Stanley, Google received an overweight grade with a hold action. On Friday, October 13, 2023, Macquarie gave Google an overweight grade with a hold action. Lastly, on the same day, KeyBank also rated Google as overweight with a hold action. Analysts have given Google stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as a strong buy. As for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of neutral. Let's analyze the signals for Google stock. The short-term moving average suggests a sell signal, while the long-term average indicates a buy signal. 
As the short-term average is higher than the long-term average, this gives a positive forecast for the stock. If the stock continues to increase, it may face resistance from the short-term moving average at around $139.33. However, if it falls, it may find support from the long-term average at approximately $135.86. A breakup above the short-term average would indicate a buy signal, while a breakdown below the long-term average would suggest a sell signal. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, provides a buy signal. We should also consider some negative signals that could impact the stock's near-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, December 26, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 3.62%. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is found. It's worth noting that volume increased during the stock's recent price drop, which could be an early warning. Therefore, it's important to closely monitor the stock's performance. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. The pivots indicator shows a sell signal 7 days ago. The Bollinger indicator shows a buy signal 7 days ago. The short-term moving average indicator shows a sell signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average indicator shows a sell signal 15 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 34 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see that the short moving average indicates a buy signal 13 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicates a buy signal 13 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 28 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us to explore more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Google Google stock finds support at $134.99 due to accumulated volume. This support level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upward reaction when it is tested. The stock exhibits average movements throughout the day and with a good trading volume, the risk associated with it is considered medium. Over the last day, the stock had a price range of $2.81, or 2.06%, between its high and low points. On a daily basis, the stock has shown an average volatility of 1.65% over the past week. Let's begin by discussing some important fundamental data before we delve into the potential trading levels for Google. One crucial metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio evaluates a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. Google's P-E ratio falls within the normal range, which is often observed in companies with established track records or predictable revenues. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $1.60. It's important to keep a close watch on these numbers as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we will be examining potential day trading levels for Google. If the stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level for Google is at $136.93. If you are considering entering a position, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level. For those who already own shares, this could be a suitable level for swing trading. On the downside, Google faces its first support level at $134.99. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable opportunity for entry, with the anticipation of a rebound. Analysts from multiple sources have given Google a combined average rating of buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. Raghavan Prabhakar, a key insider, made the five most recent trades. They bought and sold a total of 48,264 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, our calculations indicate a negative insider power with a ratio of minus 11.640. In the last 100 trades, insiders purchased a total of 1,435,926 shares and sold 1,799,652 shares. 
Our recommended stop loss for this stock is $131.21, representing a decrease of 3.79%. This stock exhibits moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. We have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred six days ago. Is Google stock a good buy? While Google holds several positive signals, we believe it is not currently a strong buy candidate. It should be considered as a hold candidate or accumulate in this position, as we await further development. We have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture. After analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, January 5th, we anticipate Google to open up 91 cents and start trading at $137.30. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Prior to making any investment decisions, we strongly recommend consulting a financial advisor. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view of the stock. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below and share your opinions. What are your target projections for this stock? Like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Wishing you successful trading and a fantastic day from all of us here at Stock Invest.